To shoot an HDR picture on the Sony RX100M2, press the function button and then on the scroll wheel here, once you get to the DRO, Dynamic Range Optimizer, and HDR option, you'll scroll over until you get to your chosen HDR. There's six different, there's actually seven different HDR modes here. The number below indicates how many stops of exposure difference you'll have from the lowest to the highest point in the three image uh, HDR. So on six, we're going from minus three, zero, and plus three, and getting a, a composite of all three of those images to construct the HDR. I'm going to choose six, and then take a picture. So now that's a composite of the three different images with an exposure range of six. In this particular image, there's not a great variety of highlights and shadows, so HDR mode wouldn't really be your uh, preferred mode here. You may notice sometimes when you're shooting HDR that if you choose an aperture or a shutter speed that's too extreme, the camera will start flashing down here. And what that means is that you'll need to make some adjustments to either the shutter, the aperture speed, the exposure compensation, or the ISO, so that you have a more balanced picture. The reason for that is as you reach the end of those extremes, you won't have enough room to get minus 3 or plus 3 exposure compensation to create that HDR image.